all right guys welcome back to another katan video today we're going to be playing some more 1v1 and we've gone ahead and made our placements and whatnot and we're on good sheep lots of ore and a little bit on the wheat not a whole lot and i think the first thing for me well that is really helpful is to probably settle on this ore port and uh tough decision i could also go to three to one I could also go to 6311 and yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead and place our road over here and let's go on 6311. How about that? And buy another dev card and we're hoping for All right, let's go and buy another dev card. And with two knights, we're good to go. He's more than likely gonna settle on this 1092 spot. And then we are gonna have to think about where to block him, probably on the nine. He's also buying a bunch of dev cards until he rolls his wood to settle, which is fair. And we're looking for our first city. So waiting for fours, 11, eights and tens. A lot of fives coming in is helpful. I don't think we can end up getting plowed. I'm pretty sure. But still a possibility. We are at 10 cards. Or they're at 10 cards, excuse me. And let's see. A whole lot of ore for him. She or wheat. He should be able to city up, I believe. I could be wrong. But he's still not building. There we go. Why don't we go ahead and city up this spot? Because I know that the wheat is way more rare. And he gets his spot. I might go ahead and block the eight next turn. Here we go. I already know he has a whole bunch of ore. He's gonna play the first knight, probably block R8. There we go. And I know he's looking for a three. Let's go ahead and keep blocking him because I know he's gonna buy a whole bunch of uh, dev cards. And because we're close to, well, we were close to a nine. And we can go ahead and move this back. He rolls a 7. Let's see where he blocks. If he blocks a 5, he blocks a 10. The only reason I will have to continue blocking him only because he's buying a lot of dev cards. And look at that. Works out well. Works out fantastic. And now let's just go ahead and use up our port or year of plenty for these two cards. And get 1, 2, 3, 4 get a wheat and now next turn with 11s and 4s and 8s we're gonna get a free card he gets a 3 so he should settle on this 10 9 3 spot there we go uh, I could come on this 3 11 10 spot and block him I think it might be worthwhile but let's just go ahead and block the 6 again it's high producing for him 4 gives us a dev and another knight just to be safe in our back pocket there we go and we're gonna put it back on the eight the sevens definitely are helping us a whole lot more than it's gonna help him at the moment all right he bought a dev card hopefully it's not a knight if it is a knight he does take army which is fine we s oh good block good block hurts us i probably would have bought a whole bunch of dev cards we should be able to get a uh Man, I was hoping to get a or off of him, but that's fine. Moves the knight off of us, puts it on the eight again, rolls three sheep. And we're going to go put it on the eight and probably yank another sheep from him. And good block, one, two. We just need to secure army. So I'm going to go ahead and just not aggressively play to take it. Because at the end of the day, if I can just get more knights than him, I know... There we go. I can get army. Good block. Now all I'm looking for is another 8. He buys a dev card. Let us get another 8. Ooh, perfect. I'll buy one over here and I'll do a settle. He's going to play a knight, put it on the 8. Doesn't have a knight. Could have a mono or year of plenty or a VP. And for us, I think the connect is not out of the question. We could go on the 4-8-3 and then build that way. 
I think sitting up the 810 spot is going to be the next important thing for us to do. That's fine, we seven now. I Actually, I just realized that I have an ore port. I could have used the ore. Rookie mistake. Takes a wood from us. Very helpful for him, although we have been blocking him a lot. Going to go put it on the 8 and build on the... I'd like to cut him off. Ideally, but... Let's get another dev card. I actually should have bought a dev before sitting up, but... Worked out well. He gets his first city. Looking for... Oh, he just rolled a whole bunch of sheep. 3114, 3114 is what we need. I know he is saving his ore. Let's go ahead and buy a dev card. Good mono. And yeah, let's just settle over here. Could use the mono for... Could use it for wheat. We are running out of dev cards. It is possible that he has two VPs in his pocket. So... That means that the dev card stash is running out of VPs. All we have are utility cards like Road Builders, you have plenty. He buys two cards, uses the knight, doesn't get a knight. He's buying everything. I furiously need to buy a card. He could play a mono on something, which is fine. We'll mono it back. Mono's a four or not that useful for him, I would say, unless he cities up. So all those cards, yet not a single knight, which is interesting. Now he gets a knight. If he rolls an eight, I'll just mono his ore. He could play an aggressive knight and try to take army. He doesn't do that. Has three sheep, no ports, looking for settle, needs a six, I believe. Might go ahead and port all of his cards out, but it seems that he's not doing 4 for 1 trades or ports as much. Very interesting play. Buys another dev card. We are not looking good. We are not looking good. Finally has the cards he needs for settle. Could also sneak away road for the win. So I need to be careful of that. I should go for the connect. He has 3 brick, which I can mono and connect. And then wait on a 7 to put it on his 8. Use the year of plenty. Okay, so he still has three brick. Uh, tough. Well, let's go ahead and mono that brick. Three brick helps us with the road connect. And yeah, our ore is blocked, but we always have the fives and the tens. So it's not that big of a deal. He uses a road builder. He can go for the connect all he wants, but technically we can secure road long term. He tries to build over there. Maybe he's going to go for the wood port. That's fine. He's going to take road for sure now because he has, he rolled two brick. Actually, I didn't realize he could connect from here. And he gets even more. Let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's port it out. And let's get a knight. He rolls a seven. Good. As long as he doesn't take our wheat, should be fine. I'm going to block the eight. Discards five ore. Wow. Wow, that five ore would have helped us. But I still stand by the brick. Takes the wheat. The only card that we didn't want him to take. And we get the brick. And of course, the brick rolls just now. Let's go ahead and put it on the six. He gets a knight. I believe army is locked. And I'm going to go ahead and port one, two, three, four for one dev card. So we have three VPs. He has two. Army is locked, which means now I can go ahead and start using the ore for road. Six block hurts. But again, I have three cities. I can get a fourth one here as well. For 15. Actually, yeah, maybe I should have saved my cards on that one. But that's okay. Because even if he takes it, I just need a settle. Two settles and a city for the win. And in hindsight, that was most definitely a weak mono. He does have the road to connect now. So he'll take road this turn. 
and he'll be at 12. We're going to be at 12. And now we just need a 7 to block that 8 more than anything. Waiting for that perfect 7. Don't get it. And yeah, this could kill us a lot. The fact that we're not rolling 7s. And the fact that the 9s are rolling, which is huge production for him. He's at 12 cards. We're at 6. Both at 12 points. I think with an 8, I need to make sure I end up ports 4, builds a road. Now he's at 13. Let's go ahead and 1, 2, 3, 4. I almost ported for a ward by accident. Looking for an 8 or a 10. Looking for a 10. 10s have not rolled in a while. 1, 2, 3, 4. Go ahead and port this out as well. Build a road. Again, so many fours. 13, he needs one, two, three. And eight will give him a city, putting him at 14. Yeah, so one eight is just game over for him. So let's city this up. that i think is game over yeah so he's ah uh, there we go gg um i still stand by the mono i think taking the road was fine but yeah we produced evenly activity stats more or less same block pretty even game so yeah that's gonna be it for this game i will see you guys next time